All right, how's it going, my samurai friends? It's time to take on the fume beak. All right, so this is a wind type kimono. So make sure you have wind type resistant armor. The best weapon for you to use here is the bow. And if you can add earth element to it, it'll be even more effective. I used a dragon claw here, and I'll probably be using that for the rest of the game. Also, the fireworks character will be very useful in this battle. Anyways, good luck, and make sure you stay hydrated, if you know what I mean. I owe you an apology for doing my own thing back there. I just couldn't afford to let that asset get away. <clears throat> the Deathstalker and I have quite a history. What I want to know is what it's doing on the island. Its territory should be a long way northwest from here, around Otsuki Castle, Governor Ishido's old stronghold. Not that anyone calls it by that name anymore. Not now it's surrounded by snow. You hear it called Fuyufusagi Fort now. Hmm. Ah, it's too much for my brain. How about paying the sensei a visit? with you two you both look very grave well uh, it's a long story but what a fascinating development Arasetsu has covered the summery spirit island ice you say oh yes this warrants a detailed investigation <clears throat> it's quite an unusual phenomenon indeed you would never normally expect ice kimono to appear somewhere with such a disparate climate to their usual habitat. Maybe not, but that's what's happened. It looks like hell's frozen over there. Quite literally. Kimono are like humans. They avoid inhospitable areas. They naturally accumulate in areas that are favorable to their existence. Now, imagine the prevailing climate on the Spirit Isle. Would you expect an ice and snow kimono to choose such a sultry location? At the very least, wouldn't it be drawn to the more moderate temperatures along the Harugasumi Way? This Death Stalker is powerful enough not to care. You remember Otsuki Castle, the seat of Governor Ishido, don't you, Sensei? It was magnificent. Blossoming flowers all around, life everywhere. Now they call it the Frozen Fort. True. It's a shadow of its former self these days. The kimono brought blizzards and ice to the whole area. Hmm. I think there's a correlation between the failing of Minato's Karakuri years ago and the increasingly violent kimono activity since across Azuma. The fate of the Great Bear may be relevant too. I hear the area where it once slumbered happily is now a barren wasteland. The natural environment in these parts would appear to be undergoing some sort of rapid transformation. That sounds... plausible. Or not. I'm no scientist. So... what's our move, Sensei? Well, we can't afford some protracted observation of kimono behavior now. No, we need to focus on this wolf. If my hypothesis is correct, I'd expect to see a physiological change in its gut in any part of its body that absorbs celestial thread, in fact. Right. So I guess it comes down to you again. Looks like the only way. I don't know how much we'll learn, but I do know we can't afford to ignore the threat he poses to Minato. So you bring it down, and the Sensei will do her thing. That's the plan. Uh, there is one problem we need to address first. The kimono's primary habitat is around Fuyufsagi Fort, but I hear the cavern that leads there collapsed during the Earthbreaker's advance. So, we'll need to clear the way before we can proceed. See if Ren and her crew can help with that. That should come from you. She owed you a favor or two, doesn't she? You're not getting away without helping, Mujishige. You know the way to the old castle better than anyone. You can be on guide duty. Uh, well... I'm not really feeling it at the moment, so you'll have to make your way alone. 
I need some space. Ah, you need the path through the cavern cleared. Sure, we could take care of that. But we'll need some help from you. At least find out what I'm asking first. Actually, Togahime made the same request. She said it wasn't urgent, but asked us to tackle it if we had time. We've made some progress already, but at nightfall, there was a fume beak attack. Some of my crew came off worse for wear. I was just about to report we couldn't continue work when you came along. So if you can get rid of the Great Crow, we can get rid of the obstruction. Deal? Here we go. This is a tough little cookie. Unfortunately, I have to heal, or else I would take advantage of that. What the?
wait till this thing flies up again. I mean, the timing of my part. And that timing. How do you get me?
fackeln. to do like one more crit damage on it. There we go. feeling you'd make short work of that. So I took a gamble and got my crew ready. This won't take long. Just wait there. Oosh. We need a break. Don't want to work ourselves too hard. Can't afford any slip-ups. All right, crew. Down tools. Have some water and rest for a minute. 
As you can probably tell, most of the Tsuruhashi carpenters weren't born here in Hinomoto. I myself come from the City of Stone, far in the west. And my crew, I mostly met as I traveled here across the Great Range and the Golden Peninsula. As such, we boast some tools and techniques you don't normally find here. That earned us good favor in the capital. But they're fighting now about who will become the Shogun's heir. There'll be war, I promise you. All over this land. So we decided we'd leave to avoid getting mixed up in it. Togahime's invitation was very timely. What about you? Why are you in Minato? With your skills, you'd find work anywhere. I see. Well, I'm no expert on hunting. Must have been hard leaving your home turf, though. Right, well, we better get back to it. We'll try not to hold you up much longer. There, all done. Although, I do not know where this path leads. That old drunk was familiar with this region, no? Why don't you go back to town and pick his brains? We just need to clear up here. Are you heading off to Fuyu Fusagi Fort now? Then you're gonna have to put up with some company, I'm afraid. Why do you look so surprised? Otsuki Castle was my home. No one else knows the lay of the land up there better than me. Any kimono are your domain, though. And I can't deny I'll slow you down, but that's tough luck. Oh, arigato. There's something I have to do up there. So I'm your new trouble companion. Not the most auspicious start, is it? Running into a snowstorm? We'll shelter here until the worst is over. Ah, uh, this place brings back memories too. I might as well tell you, I suppose. Years ago, I was living at the castle we are headed for as a hired hand. The daimyo was called Ishido Ujitsuna-sama. The do in my family name Daidoji, and the uji in my first name were both given to me by the daimyo. The Ishido clan were the Shugo governors of Azuma at the time. But the Ago clan, Shugo representatives in the western provinces, rebelled against the Ishido clan. The cursed tail trying to wipe the dog. In the aftermath of the battle that ensued, the castle was attacked by Kemono. I don't know if it was happenstance or planned by the Ago clan. Either way, the entire Ishido clan was wiped out overnight. And I have a suspicion it's the same Kemono. The death stalker we saw on the spirit isle. If it is, he needs to die. Agreed? <laughs> you say all the right things. But a word of warning. That wolf is stronger than any other kimono in these parts. I know from bitter experience. Out of all the kimono I fought around the castle, that one was something else. Just don't get yourself killed. 